photo, bring, bring it to the pastor and ask if that is what God is allowing to do. He said, does, uh, does God know about it? And of course, the pastor replied and said, yeah, uh, you might not understand it, but God knows about it. Um, and then the boy walked out, claiming he was uninterested. But um, the pastor went on to say he wished that boy had heard the epic story about God, um, about his, about him continuing to write the story to make it better. Um, so now I was to go on to the, the Bible. Uh, so Jesus unfolded this story for his followers, uh, referring to John 16, what we just read. Those who assumed he'd shield them from hardship, Christ told them instead that in this world you will have trouble. Just like how the people in the photo, the children in this photo are having trouble, they were starving. Um, what Jesus did offer, however, was his promise that these evils weren't the end. In fact, he'd already overcome the world, which he said in John 16, verses 33. The last verse. Um, and in God's final chapter, every injustice will be undone. Every suffering healed when he comes back again. Uh, when he comes down to heaven. Not heaven. Uh, when he brings heaven down to earth. As he um, uh, as he starts his, his 1,000 year reign. Uh, his eternity reign on, uh, on earth. Uh, with new Jerusalem and new earth and... Um, everything that follows um, comes with it. Uh, so Genesis to Revelation, basically the entire Bible, the entire Bible is talking about recounts the story of God destroying every unthinkable evil and making every wrong right. Just like in um, Noah, as an example, the they were sinning, the whole world was sinning so much. Um, but Noah... He was a man of great faith in God. Uh, so he made an ark and God flooded the world, which he got rid of all the evil and made everything right. Again, when um, all the flooding ended, everything dried up and Noah and his family um, and his um, son's wives, um, they made... Um, they re reproduced, um, and yeah, so God made the world better from that. He refreshed the world. He restarted the world uh, by that uh, evil, getting rid of all the evil back then. So the story presents the loving one whose interest is in us, whose interest in us is unquestioned. Jesus said to his disciples, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. May we rest in his peace and presence today. So God's epic story, as it's titled in the book um, and what we just read, his story is being continued to be written by him. It's not ending. There will be evil in the story that God will make right. Um, as it said in the book, uh, he will continue to be writing a story. Every unthinkable evil uh, will be made right. Um, uh, Genesis to Revelation recounts the story of God destroying every unthinkable evil, making every wrong right is what the author said in the book. So that is what God continues to be doing. He makes the, he's trying, he's, writing a story, making the world better uh, while he gets rid of all the evil. Uh, but there's more evil to come as we know as we go into the end days, uh, the end times, um, as the devil continues to do what he is doing by um, causing chaos, spreading evil everywhere, um, everyone uh, going into sin uh, who is not with God. Um, so, yeah, let's pray about that and uh, follow God's story. Be with God as well. Um, and, yeah, so the takeout is that God has his own story. He will 
do what um, he has in his story, what his plan is uh, with the world. Um, getting rid of the evil that is in here in this world and making it right um, by doing what he has to. Um, so yeah, and question is, how does the story you see feel tragic? A story about this world, about what we read in the book um, at the start about the starving children. Maybe it's that story. What do you see? How does the story you see? Well, it's just that? from God and the, and fully faithful to God. Yeah. Always trust in God and be faithful to God. Um, but how was the story that you saw that we read about feel tragic? It is tragic because um, it was a photograph of starving children, right? But yeah, and persecution in this world and over there um, against Christians and um, as we go on to live, uh, our lives will be persecuted as we are Christians, as we get closer to the end times. Um, it's tragic because there's people that always speak like you. We always food. So you do. But restaurants waste food. Yeah. So you waste a lot of food. Um and how does Jesus promise to write a good ending free you? Because he promises that if you follow his path, then it'll be a good uh what did you say? A good good ending. Good ending yeah. for you. Means you'll have a good ending with your life, and if you follow God's path that He promises and gives you, then you'll have a good ending in your life. Yeah, ending of faith. Yeah, if you have faith in God, if you follow God's path for you that He has set for you, you will have a good ending. Um, and we set our rest on Him, uh, to bless us with that good ending. Um, and yeah, so now say small prayer and we will have Elisha close um, in prayer. Dear God, it's hard for me to see how, how you'll write all the, of the evils, but I trust you to do it. In Jesus' name I pray. Uh, helps to meditate on that and uh, uh, fight for right and as we go through these helping um, protect us and just in favor our Heavenly Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as in heaven this day of the bread be with us in houses May the Lord shine his face upon you all and keep you and be with you and protect you and cover you here in this congregation and all across the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. So Sangyu to Bilyo, Sajuno to Mitro, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. پہنو تو پراؤ بچوں بزرگوں تو نوجوانوں کو مشیر کا بہت بہت سلام پہنچے کچھ دنوں کی رکاوٹ کے بعد ریکارڈنگ بیک ٹو یو ٹیوب چینل پہ ہے اف یو لائک دس ویڈیو اینی پارٹ آف دا ویڈیو پلیز لائک سبسکرائب شیئر اینڈ کامنٹ تھینک یو پلیز کیپ اس ریمبر ان یور پریئر اینڈ اف یو کین پلیز ڈو لائک اٹ اینڈ شیئر اٹ گاڈ بلیس You all have a good day and we will see you tomorrow. You have a good night and good day. Bye now.